All right, so back at it uh, with the Remington rolling block project here. Um, my uh, my previous videos, I had compiled a whole bunch of them together. Um, the SD card got corrupted, so I figured I'd come down here and film a quick little update as to where this project is at right now. Uh, the barrel has been timed and headspaced in the receiver. Uh, the replacement springs are fitted. Uh, they're not in there all the way. None of this is put together completely right now uh, because I kind of slapped it back together to show you guys where we're at. Um, hammer is nice and positive now all the way down. So it stays real positive half cock, super positive full cock. So there's that. Cock that. Uh, the breech block stays in place nice and firm now. Uh, now that the uh, replacement lever for locking the block has the spring under it, and that's all taken care of. Um, there is a firing pin in here right now. It hasn't gone through final fitting just yet, but exciting part, boom. So that is a little homemade extractor right there. Get you in on there a little bit closer so you can see it. Yeah, this is it right here. Not focused very well, but oh well. I'll take it out of there and show you guys. Uh, this part took a whole hell of a lot of fitting in order to get in there just right. Um, this barrel's been chambered back out farther uh, using the Bentz chamber reamer. So, again, this isn't retained at all or whatsoever, but this is the extractor. Just like that. So this is a piece of 17-4 stainless steel, uh, precipitate hardened, and a little difficult to see, but you can see that now there is a rim in there with the, uh, with the help of the chamber reamer in order to remove casings from out of the breech face. So there's that. Uh, this, this mark right here is where the uh, retention cut is going to be made. It's only going to be like, I don't know, a uh, little under or a little over a quarter of an inch long. And then the screw still needs to be turned down to size in order to retain that. But this is done. It fits directly in the old channel on the breech block in order to move it in and out, which is good. Uh, you may notice that I got these gauge pins in here right now. All of these holes are now reamed out to uh, 480. So just for simplicity's sake and not having to take a hammer to it every time I need to take it apart to fit something, uh, this is a 478 pin and this is a 477 pin. I'm using minus ZZ class gauge pins. So again, makes makes life a little bit easier. But yeah, this is this is where the project is so far. And with the help of a little bit of ingenuity, this does actually strike uh, primers. Strikes them really hard, but it still strikes them. So uh, the breech face, uh, I told you I had a little trick in order to convert this over to rim fire. So what I did was I actually drilled directly into the bottom edge of the existing hole on the breech face, knowing that since I had to basically adjust the the head space on this breech block by milling it at an angle to advance when it closes that way it closes flat that this firing pin's now going to be at a really weird angle and so using that to my advantage by drilling the hole down at the bottom edge of the existing firing pin hole now the firing pin comes straight up or I should say comes up at an angle and smacks the very bottom edge of the casing which is right where the rim is which is good so and then here I'll show you the extraction process it's a little weird to try and do this a little bit backwards but put the firing pin a little bit forward Oop, got caught on that but yeah there you go and then you can pull that straight on out of course since this isn't retained the uh, the extractor wants to come with it but just like that. So again, this is technically 
functioning right now. If I can get this firing pin out, I'll show you. This is one of the goofier things I think I've ever done. Uh, this is the firing pin, and it is a stainless steel bolt that has been turned down off center and refitted, reprofiled. Ah, come on, there you go. So now you can see that the the top edge of it, where it should be kind of rounded over and blunt pointed and stuff like that, is actually now at an angle. And that is because, again, when the breech block comes forward, now since the headspace has been advanced to make it close flat against the breech, this comes in at an angle. However, the angle of the firing pin is completely flat up against the breech. So lots of hand fitting. That's that's what this project has been. It's just lots of lots of hand fitting. But <clears throat> for the most part, uh, this is an operable thing. Uh, it still needs some hand fitting done in order to, like I said, get the extractor retainer screw done, get the firing pin retainer screw done. That'll probably end up just being a pin. And then uh, after that, it's turning down two pieces of steel to make the cross pins. And I have a feeling that instead of using the original style key, what my what I would actually really like to do is make these two pins and then run a straight mill line directly across them and then have a longitudinal key like that which is held in with this screw. That way they're not going anywhere and they can't spin. I don't know, I just thought about that in the shower. I thought that would be nice. But uh, after that it's time to start working on that stock again. And uh, I've also got to make a new four stock since this barrel is much much smaller than the original that uh, these were made for so that'll be another adventure and in inletting and I want to be com completely clear here I'm not a better carpenter than Jesus so it's probably gonna look a little wonky while it's getting done but hopefully it'll turn out well like I said there we go um, it works Again, um, surprising. Surprising, surprising, surprising. We're putting lipstick on a pig and it's actually, it's turning into something. So, uh, hopefully you guys have liked this process so far and uh, like I said, you know, just stick along as long as you like. Uh, this is more of a proof, proof of concept, uh, more of a uh, proof that you can actually do it if you want to. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching and happy building.